Fasten your seat belts because what you are about to see will blow your mind. I guarantee you for 100% because today we're gonna react to Takehiko Inoue. Yeah, to get the hype really going, let's jump straight in with watching advertisement he did for Nissin Cup Noodles. Which I love, by the way. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag I wish it were though. So where are you, Nissin Cup Noodles? Whoa. This is insane, guys. Look at the scale of this artwork. Damn it. Guys, he's using a freaking escalator or whatever you call these to draw this artwork and the details. And this huge brush. I've never seen something like this. Look at the brush. What the hell is this? Uh, yeah, that's just to get you hyped up for this episode because I feel like Takahiko Inoue is not only really known for Slam Dunk and for Vagabond. I think what's even more mind-blowing, crazy, epic are his works that he's doing for galleries, museums and like what we just watched, advertisements. Because look at this, in this video, unfortunately the quality of those videos um, is mostly pretty terrible, but this video also will blow your mind. I've just seen it and um, it's crazy because I feel like he is like doing like art challenges but not for YouTube or something and on a big scale for brands, for museums and because that would be also a really awesome YouTube art challenge video like I draw manga art on Blackboard and he would definitely nail it like crazy. I mean look at this. Beautiful strokes. Still, what I think it's really incredible is if you draw on paper, that's one thing. It's pretty crazy how good those guys are at drawing on small paper. But if you are able to draw, um, no matter what the scale actually is, if you draw on a board like this or if you draw on the whole wall, I think it's, it's, it's so crazy different. And if you are good on drawing on paper, it doesn't mean that you are able to draw or paint a wall or that you are able to draw on a huge piece of paper. He looks like he can use whatever and make a freaking amazing artwork out of it. Look at this. He's drawing a whole freaking manga on a cupboard. Freaking epic. Also, I think it's a pretty cool tool because if you make a mistake, you can actually just erase it, uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I really feel that. So that would definitely be a super fun challenge for this um, channel as well as i said it's like the perfect youtube channel wow that looks so cool <laughs> imagine you're going to school and uh, when you come into your class you see this amazing epic artwork i would definitely i don't know what i would do but my mind would definitely be blown and the teacher would probably be like uh mo could you please like clean this mess up from the cupboard and i would be like <laughs> wow look at i love how he's going back checking back stretching and everything and yeah he's looking at his artwork and he seems to be really proud about it and it he can because it's it's freaking epic guys i i'm not 100 sure what he is actually doing here so if you know what he's doing here um let me know down in the comments i know there are a couple of documentaries online on youtube quality is terrible and most of them are, I've seen there are some in French and in Japanese, of course, uh, which I don't understand both. So that doesn't help. But um, this is also a part of this. In this documentary, he is killing it with, look at this incredible brush. So I assume that this is something for an advertisement again as well. But <laughs> look at this comically huge brush. Looks like something uh, people in Art Attack would do back on TV in the 90s or 80s or I don't even know when this series got released but um, when you look at him doing this you think what the, what is this guy doing like cleaning something but wait until you see the actual artwork guys because this will again blow your mind look at this and to be honest I think I've seen something like this on Art Attack probably maybe it also was him I don't know if he, if they actually just showed a clip of him doing this from a distance the eyes already look freaking epic and that's what i mean it doesn't matter for him if he's drawing on a huge wall if he's drawing on the floor with a huge brush and 
One eye is as big as his whole body. That's insane. And this the scale sense for scale, the scale for proportions is insane. Okay, what are they doing now? Now they're probably also not only doing this drawing, also film a really epic video. And it seems like he has a clear goal in his mind, uh, a clear vision for this artwork. So I can't wait to see what they are doing now. And I, what I really love about this guy is that whatever he does, it seems like he has a crazy amount of fun doing it. Don't you think? Okay, they're doing a little dance and stuff. That's pretty... Uh, Freaking epic. Hopefully they will show the whole video in the end. And that's the best thing to see, honestly, that seeing him having a lot of fun, um, just, you know, filming this, doing the artwork, that's the best thing. You know, if, to be honest, that's really uncommon to see from a manga artist, I feel like seeing him s being super happy about what he's doing there makes me feel so good. Okay, let's see if they show the artwork actually. Wow, they do. Wait, they do? Yes! Wow, <laughs> look at this! <gasps> wow, I wish the quality of this video would be a bit better, but this is just freaking incredible! Wow, truly mind-blowing stuff! And can you imagine that he painted this actually while he looked like someone who's just cleaning the floor? It's insane. Okay, and then uh, there was like... One thing I've seen as well that was quality-wise a bit better, so uh, let's see. I think, yeah, yeah, I think right here, yeah, I think right here he's drawing again on a huge wall, you know. Still killing the proportions and everything. Just a true genius. And it's cool to see that he probably also doing these sketches before. Of course you need to do some sketches for composition again. But it seems like he doesn't use some lines as a guidance to trace from the small sketch to the huge piece of paper or, or huge piece of paper or canvas that he's drawing on. It seems like then once he has done the sketch he's just jumping straight in and um, you know nailing the proportions uh, and everything on the go which is insane I, I really love this so what do you think so far guys i think to be honest it's one of the most amazing episodes of illustrated reacts artwork why isn't there's like one of those insane brushes again i mean look at this and i mean it's a pretty high comparison but seeing him doing this Feels a bit like michelangelo like drawing like some christian stuff like on on big uh, ceilings of churches and everything, you know. This is true, truly beautiful artwork. Insane. It's so freaking huge, guys. Look at this stuff. I wish I would be really interesting to know how long this this took him. Is it a couple of days? Is it a couple of weeks? A couple of months? Um, I definitely would need a couple of years for something like this, that's for sure, but... And imagine like spending... And just also imagine spending so long while you do an artwork, um, working on a, such a huge scale, on all the details, you can spend easily 10 years on something like this, I feel. And I think some of these artists like Michelangelo and stuff, they also, they, they spend years on some of these ceiling drawings. I hope these ceiling drawings are even Michelangelo. Um, if not, let me know down in the comments right now. So let's see if we can see the final artwork again. Um, I don't know. No, I think we do not see the final artwork and they are attaching more and more canvases to it. But look at the scale. Wow. And... You know, there's no sketch or drawing underneath. He's just painting in all the details right now. Truly incredible stuff. Okay, so that's it for today's episode, guys. Honestly, just a genius artist. I can't even say anything else to it. My mind is still kind of blown. I hope yours is too. If your mind is blown, let me know down in the comments. And then, guys, I will hopefully see you in the next one. Okay, see you there. Bye-bye, guys.